All right, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Jimmy Swift here and today I have an awesome brand new Minecraft game mode for you guys called uh, Time Trap and this game mode is awesome. Basically, uh, it's created by this guy named Brutech and it allows you to sort of basically play survival Minecraft against the clock. Uh, so when you first spawn in the world, um, you basically spawn in sort of on this little like sky pad right here and over here. Um, you've got this button that says teleport me to the settings only game mode creative. If you want to play what I'm going to be playing today, I'm going to be showing you guys how this works. You're going to want to step on this green pad right here. It says creative mode only stand on top of the green clay to start and have fun. So just before we get started, I would like to say to you guys, um, I'm going to be taking the time trap challenge today or whatever. And, uh, but basically this video's purpose is to more or less show you guys how this game mode works, how it functions and where to download it, because I'll put a uh, link to download it down in the description of my video below. Uh, so there might be a lot of editing, uh, probably just you know end up showing the highlights and sort of showing you how the game mode works. But that being said, let's have some fun and let's get into it. All right, so it spawned me in a brand new world. Every time you you start up, uh, it spawns you in, a, in I, well, I don't know if it's a new world or if it's just a new area in the same world, but as you can see there, our counter is now counting down and it is counting down pretty quick. Um, okay, maybe not, maybe it's back to normal now. It looked like at the beginning there, it was kind of really fast. Anyways, we have some rules here. So uh, it basically just gives you some, some details. You can play this in single player or multiplayer. I am playing in single player, obviously. And um, basically from here on down is multiplayer and PVP stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, you can go ahead and read that. I'm just gonna read the top part. So here it says, every player gets a timer that runs out while playing uh, while playing. The goal is to stay alive as long as possible, and in order to get more time, you'll need to stand on top of iron, gold, emerald, or diamond. So, um, that's it, you guys. So let's begin, and um, I'm going to grab myself some uh, wood here. Uh, I will admit that I actually did try this before. I, I tried another recording before this, and it failed miserably because I got spawned in like the world's largest desert and I couldn't find any wood and I couldn't get any tools and it was horrible. <laughs> so here we are now in a much more friendly biome, which I'm excited about. Uh, but obviously, as you can see here, you guys, there are, um, there's a very glaringly large timer in the middle of your screen. So you never forget what, uh, how much time you have left. I kind of wish it was off to the side a little bit or something because it is a little bit in the way. But um, it's not really that big of a deal. It's uh, it sort of really reinforces the fact that you really need to just continue surviving. So uh, I love this. I think it's super cool. I've I've never really even seen like a world download that offers a extremely unique game mechanic like this before. Like this is an actual game mode, you know, like time um, time trap. So I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty sweet. It's pretty unique. When I saw this thing on the forums, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do a video. This is super cool. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I really do. Uh, and we're gonna collect these pumpkins too, by the way. I am collecting them. Make ourselves a sword. We can kill that piggy over there. And we'll get started on collecting some, yes. We'll get started on collect, oh hi rabbit. You're so cute. <laughs> uh, we'll get started on collecting some stone so we can make some better tools and whatnot. But let me also grab some of this meat. Oh, the piggy's noses look really weird in this texture pack. And my goal, my first goal is to find enough iron to make um, an, a block of iron and basically get back some time. I really want to show you guys visually what that looks like. It's really kind of awesome. And um, I just want to keep surviving, you know what I mean? Like, so, and if you do die, if you die in the world, excuse me, bunny, thank you for cutting off my chopping down of that block, you jerk. Uh, if you do die, I believe death is punished. You get punished um, like your time. You, you get some time chopped off your uh, your timer there if you die. So uh, not good. Don't don't go do that. We're still good. I mean, we got 25 minutes. Theoretically, the game mode shouldn't be too hard until you start running out of resources, right? Every time you, I'll show you guys soon when I get one. But every time you stand on one of those special blocks to get time back, it basically consumes it and. Um, you have to go, it's it's going to be a lot of constant mining. And of course, you know, diamonds and and stuff like that. Uh, even gold can be fairly rare when you think about it in terms of getting like nine pieces to make an actual block of gold. Because that is what we need, ladies and gentlemen. We need blocks of the stuff. All right, so we got a little bit of food cooking up here. I'm going to go ahead and nom nom on this bad boy. 
Let's get full, yeah. Let's do it, I don't even care. There should be enough animals around. Uh, I crafted my bed, I've got all stone tools. We're in good shape, and we've got like 23 minutes left. Um, so I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling pretty good, but you know, definitely wanna hit up a cave really, really soon. Maybe, maybe there's some riches in these mountains here, I don't even know, but we need to, we need to investigate that. Oh, there's some wood up here that I missed. Give me this. So, off to find some iron. So let's do this. Uh, I was, I'm feeling kind of confident about like these hills up here. Um, I do kind of want to get more mutton, man. Like that's gonna be very useful in the future. I don't, I don't want to spend too much time, you know, like hunting for food and stuff like that. So, uh, the earlier I get it, the better. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, rats, dude. Where are all the freaking caves? We're about to crack below. The halfway mark, 15 minutes, and I have found like nothing. I'm still running around the surface like an idiot. What is, <gasps> help! This is so bad. I totally regret not going in that hole back there. Uh, and I just haven't found like anything, although this looks promising here. Something dark and spooky. Oh, oh yes. There's gotta be goodies in here, right? Has to be. And by goodies, I mean a zombie. Okay, so here we go. We're setting it up right here. Let's make some torches. Let's do it. Let's do it up. There's got to be iron in here, you guys. There has to be iron. If not, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really upset. Okay, here we go. Some zombs. Yes, there's iron right there. Oh gosh, creeper. I I don't wanna. Yep, just hurt him for me. Thank you. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's heal up. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. I'm looking around for some iron. Uh, I just really don't want to get blasted by a creeper because. That would uh, probably kill me right now. I've got like no armor on, so here we go. And it's sort of like this war, right? It's like, it's sort of like a decision. Do I make ar armor with this or do I go for more time? I'm gonna go for more time, but as playing this and somebody, you know, that if you guys pick this up or download this game for yourself and play it, you're gonna be facing the same challenges and in just a different world, you know what I mean? I cannot tell you how actually stressful this is. Holy smokes, they said on the forums that the game mode was intense, and I was like, nah, we're good, we're good. Dude, it's real intense. Like, this is like insane. Like, I, I my heart is kind of pounding right now, and I still have like, you know, 10 minutes or whatever, but oh my goodness. Like, it, it actually is, it's moderately intense right now. Just the feeling of knowing that like, there's something counting down, and you're sort of like at the mercy of that. Ooh, I don't like it. All right, but I want to show you guys how to get more time, right? Because we've got nine minutes now, and this is getting, uh, it's getting bad, okay? Things are, like, I didn't I didn't want to be this low by the time I showed this to you guys, but it's gonna be okay. All right, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna craft ourselves an iron block, all right? You take this block of iron, you place it on the ground, and you stand on it, and when you do that, you get this cool sound and particle effect, and I earned a little bit of time. Not much, actually, not much at all. Holy smokes, I was thinking it was gonna be more than that. Um, we really do need to find some better materials because iron is just, it's not going to cut it. Do it again. And we're up to 12, back up to 12 minutes. So that's okay, but it is going to run out very, very quick. So let me cash this one in again. We'll do three of these guys. All right, back up to 15 minutes. It makes you nervous, right? Like you've never, never played Minecraft on the clock before. And now, suddenly, there's some, there's something there and it's like, you better, <laughs> you better get your button gear. <laughs> Otherwise you are screwed. All right, so let's get a little bit more time. Eventually, if you sort of extinguish a whole entire area that you're playing in, you're going to basically sort of, I, I assume you're basically going to be surviving by the minutes, right? Like. Like right now, I mean, I started out with 30 minutes. Now I'm sort of hovering around anywhere from nine to 15. But if I slow down sort of my production or slow down my, my work rate um, in terms of finding stuff, then I'm basically gonna start hovering around three minutes and then I'll be hovering around one minute. And then eventually time's just going to straight up run out on you. <laughs> That's gonna stink. All right, so I've actually reached a really interesting predicament. Um, I could use these eight iron uh, ingots to basically make a, um, a uh, chest plate, right? Uh, or I could save them because I have eight out of nine for basically uh, <laughs> another block for more time. And I think I'm gonna go with more time. So, you know, you sort of start to run into little situations like that that really kind of make you 
think about you know how you want to use your resources that you have. I'm gonna go back in that cave, see if I can find some more materials, and uh, I'll let you guys know what happens. Uh, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching uh, this video today. Uh, I know I didn't get any gold or emerald or diamond blocks or anything, but realistically, you know, iron is going to be the one thing that you're gonna be continuing to survive with more um, than any other block out there. So it's the kind of thing where um, this, this, you know, sort of tutorial or showing you guys how this game mode works is probably a little bit more realistic than I wanted it to be because uh, I wanted to, you know, get some diamond and get some get some uh, some gold and all that stuff and show you guys you know how those worked and how much time those gave you but um, realistically those are pretty hard to find at least nine of them too so thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time with hopefully a special video on time trap peace yeah because I just missed jumps <laughs> Dude, seriously, right? I got this guy <laughs> yes! He just tanked Dude. it. <laughs> no. Right. Nah. Oh. <laughs> yes! I don't